Unraveling the mystery. What is a stakeout location? Hello, wonderful learners. Today, we're diving into an intriguing phrase that often pops up in movies, TV shows, and sometimes in the news, stakeout location. Let's explore what this phrase means, where it's used, and some examples to clarify its usage. Get ready to add another interesting phrase to your English vocabulary. Stakeout location primarily refers to a specific place where law enforcement officers or detectives observe a location discreetly. The purpose? To gather information without being detected. It's a waiting game, where patience is key, and the aim is to catch or monitor suspects during an ongoing investigation. A stakeout location isn't just about picking a random spot. It involves 1. Strategic positioning. The spot is chosen for its clear view of the target area while allowing the officers to remain concealed. 2. Preparation. Stakeouts can last for hours or even days, requiring supplies, communication tools, and sometimes, a team of officers. 3. Documentation. Officers often use cameras, binoculars, and notepads to record activities without intervening directly. While stakeout is a term rooted in law enforcement, it's also used metaphorically in everyday conversations. You might hear someone say, I'm on a stakeout at the cafe, waiting to see if my favorite celebrity shows up. Of course, this is a lighter, more humorous use of the term. Let's see how this phrase can be used in sentences. The detectives set up a stakeout location across the street from the suspect's house. During the stakeout, officers observed unusual activity at the location. The journalist joked that camping outside the bakery for the latest pastry release was like being on a stakeout. Understanding the term, stakeout location, enriches your English vocabulary especially when you're diving into crime dramas or detective novels. It's a term that paints a picture of suspense, patience, and critical observation. We hope this video has been informative and adds an interesting layer to your understanding of the English language. Keep learning, and see you in the next video.